Hey y'all, Rick Fearless Fairless, Strokers Dallas, Strokers Ice House, Punch Wally Garage and Fearless Services. Good morning. How you doing? You alright? You're alright. You've got to be okay. Keep telling yourself, you're okay. Today is Tuesday, January the 16th, 2024, Year of Our Lord. Season number two, episode number 16. In today's episode, we will talk about world peace, Sam Hill, Buddy Holly, and the Wolfman. We're going to cover all that. You're keeping track? Let's go. In My Life, the 366 Project. The Mr. Peabody Wayback Machine goes back to 1965. You remember comic books? If you were a baby boomer, especially if you were a, a boy, comic books were huge for me and my brother. When we would go to Sayre, Oklahoma and spend the summers, there wasn't a lot to do in Sayre, Oklahoma, but they had a dang good comic book store. So we would ask Grandma, you know, if uh, we could walk to town and hang out at the comic book store, ride our bikes to town, and she'd say, sure. And we'd spend all day there. She'd have to come get us. And if I remember right, a new comic book was a dime. A used comic book was like a nickel. And if you wanted to trade yours in on a new one, you got like three cents. But the guy didn't care if you sat there and read them all day long. But, you know, you would read your comic books and you would trade this one and trade that one. And it was, uh, it was special. I remember one time in the back of the comic books, you know, they always had these ads in the back of the comic books. And one of them was for a life-size wolfman, a six-foot-tall wolfman. It was for like $5.00 or three dollars or something you had to send it in along with the coupon in the comic book back of the comic book and i did i cut it out i sent it in i patiently waited you know for my six foot tall uh wolf man that i could stick in the corner of my room and scare my buddies i was so excited to get it yet when it arrived it was in a tube. It was a poster. It was a six foot tall poster. Oh, I was so disappointed. 60, 50 something, 55 years later, I'm still disappointed. I expected a full size wolf man, you know, stuffed with cotton or something. And I got a lousy poster. I think I put it on my door. Oh, the disappointment never left me. How about this hat? So this is a Stroker's Dallas Dad hat. It got Velcro on the back. Hand tie-dyed. We still have some of these left. Stroker's Dallas merch, M-E-R-C-H dot com. We still have this shirt in tie-dye and black. Stroker's Dallas merch, M-E-R-C-H dot com. Hey, let's check that truck. Check that truck. You, woo! Hey, I thought Black Money was over. Oh, I already got a scuff on there. Hold on, I'm gonna spit on it. Oh yeah, that's better. So it looks like it's Black Tuesday. So these shoes are water resistant. They got that boot bottom that I'm liking. Solid black, black and white logo. White toe, white sole, double black racing stripes, no vent hose. Hmm, what's going on there? White shoe strings, look at that. 
That's a different one. One eye down, double knotted for safety. These are, say it with me, y'all, these are some handsome chucks. People say, hey, Rick, do y'all allow, allow dogs up there? Duh, I love dogs. Yes, you can bring your dog up here, but I'd love to get my milk bone. I love dogs. Dad joke. Forget world peace. Imagine a world where everybody uses their blinker. It just tears me up when people don't use their blinker. It's like the, the cars don't have them anymore. I followed brand new G-Wagons and they ain't got blinkers. Southern slang, Sam Hill. What in the Sam Hill is going on over there? Who is Sam Hill? Who is Sam? There's a street in Irving by me called Sam Hill. Who is Sam Hill? Yogiism, the future ain't what it used to be. That's for sure. Get off the couch, a motivational minute. You must tell yourself. No matter how tough times are, no matter how bad you feel, no matter how things seem against you, you have to tell yourself, I'm going to make it. And you will make it. When you go to sleep at night, say your prayers. Say your prayers. And pray for a better day. That's what I do. Wake up the next morning and hopefully it's a better day. But it's only going to be a better day if you make it a better day. You got to do it. If you do the same thing you did yesterday, you're going to get the same results as yesterday. You can do it. I'm going to do it with you. Today is Tuesday. Uh, it's freezing out there. I think the low was 11. The high yesterday was mid-20s. I think it's supposed to be the same thing for today. I think it's like 10 or 11. The lock was froze. When I'm trying to unlock the lock to the gate, it was froze. I went and got some hot water and put it in there and un got it open. And then I put the, the lock inside the bar so it can thaw out. The whole time I'm doing it, I'm thinking, how do them Yankees up north deal with this every day? How y'all deal with that winter? No thank you. Okay, I'm going to leave you with this. One of my favorite songs of all time is American Pie by Don McLean. 1971. So, in an interview, Don McLean basically said he wrote the song about the 1960s, about the lost innocence of the 50s turned into the turbulent 60s. Vietnam War, the Kennedys got killed, Martin Luther King got killed. Terrible things. But what got him going was the, the day the music died was the plane crash that killed Buddy Holly the Big Bopper and Richie Valens. That was in 59. The Vietnam War, you know, there was a lot of crazy things that happened in the 60s, and that's basically what the song is talking about. Can you imagine what, where Buddy Holly would, would have done? He died at such a young age. If you haven't heard the song American Pie by Don McLean, it's like nine minutes long, eight and a half minutes long. One of the best songs ever. Listen to it. You can thank me later. Strokers Dallas Merch, M-E-R-C-H dot com. Y'all come see us. I'm going to be here. You might as well come shake my hand. Okay. Uh, what in the Sam Hill you waiting on? Love you, pal. See you tomorrow. Bye.